Hey guys, and welcome to this Roblox GFX tutorial. And in this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to make the quick kits, easiest, and best GFX ever. So for this video, what you're gonna need is an idea of an avatar that you wanna import, or just an avatar that you wanna import onto Blender to make a GFX. You're gonna need Blender, you're gonna need Roblox Studio, and you're gonna need two plugins. They'll be linked in the description, so you can check them out. They're called the Animation Editor, and the accessory inserter so once you have an idea of an avatar you want to import or an outfit that you want to make you have to get the accessories for it so for me the best way to get the accessories is to either be on like catalog avatar creator and have the access and have roblox on the side and then open up roblox on the marketplace and then search up the accessories one by one What you need from these are is this little code over here this id code over here once you have all your accessories open on the roblox website you need to open up studio you can make a new place it doesn't matter and what you're gonna want to do is to spawn in an avatar to spawn in an avatar you go on to rig builder you click on that and this is built into roblox this isn't a plugin it's the third option from the top, avatar, rig builder, and then you can spawn in any type of avatar you want to make. This time, I want to make a masculine avatar. So we're going to do um, an R6 masculine and then black avatar. And so the ID is basically between catalog and the name of the accessory you're trying to import there will be a number you double click on the number press it you'll see and then switch will be into import accessory and make sure you're clicked on this while you're importing your accessory so apply and it spawns right on quick and easy And just like that, we have the skin color in, and now let's get rid of the head. To get rid of the head, you do not have to delete the head. You just click on the head and turn on the transparency all the way. You have to do the same for the face. So you click on the head, you click on face, and you turn up the transparency as well. And there we go, we got headless. And now the next step for this is to close out of the insert accessory and open up our animation editor. We're going to click on the torso of the avatar we want to pose and press select. If it isn't anchored already, this will pop up and you want to press anchor. So now you can do any pose that you desire. You simply click on the limb you want to change or turn or move and you just move it. If you want to actually move the limb, you press R again and that can move the limb. And if you want to go back to rotate, you press R again. And give this file a name it can be anything i'm gonna name this cat save and then we're gonna exit out by clicking on the plugin again and now our pose is gone but we can get it back easily so we click on our break we lift it up or just lift it in any direction and then press the z or the back button and once you do that, it snaps back into the pose and you got your pose back. And now what you're gonna want to do is to click on your rig or right click it and press save slash export and then export selection. Once you've exported your accessories and your rig, you're going to want to open up Blender, but I want to do two this time, so I'm going to export this one as well using the same method. Right click on the rig, save and export, export selection. So once you have Blender downloaded and you open it up, you should have an opening similar to this. 
you can either click off it or press general and then you'll have this cube first thing you want to do is click on the cube press x and then delete and now your cube is gone we have this clean canvas we're going to want to import our avatar that we just exported we're going to click on file we're going to go to import and then wait for an obj and then wherever you saved your avatar is where you should be looking for your files and then you're looking for a file called .obj once we've imported our avatar it's time to check if we faced it the right way so we're going to press view we're going to look all the way down to the viewpoint and we're going to click front so our avatar is backwards but that's an easy fix we press r on our keyboard and then we press z to turn it around on the Z axis and then type just 118. Your character will turn 180, press enter, and your avatar is now the right way. And now it's time for a background because if we just leave it at this, then that's not good. So to create a background, we're gonna press Shift and A on our keyboard, and this should pop up. We're gonna look at mesh and we're gonna press plane. Now we have a tiny plane, but we want it to be bigger to be the background. So we're going to press S right now. And we're going to move our mouse outwards like this. And this will make the plane bigger. Now I want another plane the same size, but I don't feel like doing that process all over again. So I'm going to press Shift and D while clicking on the plane to duplicate. Now that it's duplicated, I'm going to click on the plane still. I'm going to press R and I'm going to press X. I'm gonna type 90 to turn it 90 degrees around the X axis. And now we're gonna press G to just move this plane because it's not in the right position. We wanna move it back. So we're gonna press Y as well to move it along the Y axis. We're gonna press G again and we're gonna press Z and we're gonna lift it up. And now we have a pretty solid background, but let's add one more plane. So we're gonna duplicate this one again, Shift and D, click, and then we're gonna press R and then Z to turn around the X axis, we're gonna press nine and then zero. And now we're gonna press G to move. We're gonna move it along the X axis, so we're gonna press X and we're gonna press, and we're gonna move it, we're gonna move our mouse. And now we're gonna press G and then Y to move it along the Y axis and here we go. Okay, now we want to pan around our camera to look at our avatar from different angles, but how do we do that? You can click on this orb, this, this orb over here, move it around like this, click and drag, or you can click the middle of your scroll bar on your mouse to move like that as well. If you want, also want to move around on your template, you click the hand, you hold and drag like this, hold and drag. If you want to zoom in and out, you use your scroll bar, you just scroll in, you just scroll out. I actually want to change, I, want, I actually want to turn this avatar a little bit, so I'm going to press R and then Z. So I'm going to move my mouse slowly, get like a good turn, I feel like this is good, and yeah. Okay, and now we need to get the camera ready, so we're going to click on the camera, and we're going to press output. And we're gonna change your resolution but to change your resolution it's better to be in the camera mode so underneath the hand that I showed you click on the camera and then let's make this a little bit skinnier like for TikTok we don't want too many pixels because not a lot of apps support that and now we want to lift up our camera, but it's a bit hard to do it like in this camera mode. So we're going to press shift and the tilde right beside the one on our keyboard, not the two, but the tilde. Shift and tilde and look up with our mouse and then click the exit and there we go. And now you're probably wondering why is everything so gray? Like how am I supposed to see like what's going on? And this isn't a finished product. So what you want to do to get rid of this gray mode is to go to the top of your screen where you have.
character has on in the turd mode. And as you can see, this is accurate to our Roblox. And you can see the light thing and the materials on the fourth mode, but this can be laggy. So it's good to work in this mode, but for now, we want to do our lighting, so we're going to work in this mode. I'm going to click on the camera again to exit out of the camera viewpoint mode. And we're going to add more lighting. So I'm going to click on this lighting. I'm going to press on the light, the last bulb down here and turn this lighting into spot. I'm going to duplicate this lighting. So you do the same thing, shift and D. And you can move your mouse around while you're after just pressing shift and D to move it as well. I'm going to move this slightly up, holding G and just moving my mouse, G and then Z. Yeah, we're going to duplicate that once more. Put our lighting somewhere over here. I'm going to move this a bit lower, G and then Z. A bit higher G and Z, a bit to the left G and X. Right now we have our lighting, but our lighting isn't facing the right way, only one does on our avatar. So how do we fix this? We click on all of our lighting, so you click while holding shift on all your light bulbs, so one and then two. And now we're gonna like we're gonna look at our avatar. We're gonna get really close to our avatar using our hand and using our scroll bar. And we're gonna move our mouse somewhere like here, or maybe somewhere here. Okay, we're gonna press Shift and P. And then that should point your all your lights to wherever you want. I'm gonna put them lower, higher, maybe somewhere around here. I kind of like the glowing look that the, that the light gives. So I'm gonna click on this light. I'm gonna make it a bit brighter by clicking on Power and scrolling all the way to the end. You can keep scrolling, just moving your mouse, not like with your scroll bar, just move your mouse to the right to turn it up, move it to the left to turn it down while holding, so hold and drag. So now this is way brighter. What we're gonna do is, now this is way brighter, but I don't really like how the lighting is so big and there's a way to fix this. So you're going to want to click on the light you want to reduce to a radius of and then click on this arrow and just move it upwards. I'm gonna do the same for the rest. I'm actually gonna move the center point of these lights a bit lower. So I'm gonna press Shift and P all the way about, all the way about down here. I'm gonna press G and then Z to lift these a bit higher. There we go, we got some good lighting going on. We can go back to our camera mode to see how this looks. It's looking pretty good. But now it's time to take our picture. How are we gonna take our picture? So to take our picture, we're gonna press F12 on our keyboard. And this, then this spawns up something called a blender render. And here's our picture. I like to change to camera mode. You don't have to, because I like the look it gives in the orthographic. And you can find this when you click on camera, you click on the last button, data, and on lens, type, orthographic. I prefer this look over the perspective, but whichever you guys like, you can use. I actually want to move this camera a little bit, so I'm going to press shift, and then the tilde again, and then just like Roblox, you can use WASD to move around. And yes, I'm going to move a bit closer just so I can get better quality on my pictures because the farther you are away the worse the quality is so I pressed W and I moved closer but it doesn't really show on the orthographic mode but it shows on the perspective mode that you move closer I'm gonna press F12 again and let's see the difference and there we go you got a cute little render of our avatar and that's all you have to do and now if you want to make another render all you have to do is click on your avatar Press H and import your other rig. Import made from OBJ. If you didn't spawn your avatar at 000, your avatar is going to spawn somewhere else. But it's easy to move it. All you have to do is click on your avatar, press tab, 
or from object mode go to edit mode and now once you're in edit mode you press a and then you press g to move as always and now we're going to press x to move it along the x-axis i'm going to press y as well move it down a bit g and y and now we want to rotate so that's r z 180 i'm going to move it a bit more to the right so that's g and x I'm going to rotate this just a little bit more, R and C, G and Y, G and X, and now we're going to go back into the camera mode, we're going to turn off ping, and there we go, quite quick and easy, once you got the background done, all you have to do is spawn in your avatars and use your background, and then that's your render done. Let's say you've hit something that you don't want, that you didn't want to hide or that you hit something and you want to see it again. All you have to do is press Alt and H on your keyboard and then there we go. You can also press these eyes on the side to hide and then you can have your render back. Okay guys, so this is the end of the tutorial and I hope your GFXs turn out really well. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment them down below and I'll try answer them or Flex will try answer them. And yeah.